When asked by the MSNBC host if Joe Biden has been tested for aging-related illnesses, like pre-Parkinson's disease, due to his recent struggles in completing sentences, it raises important questions about responsibility and transparency in leadership. Have you been tested for any age-related illnesses, pre-Parkinson's, or anything like that that might explain sort of having a night like that where you couldn't finish sentences? <laughs> Look, um, I had before, I was feeling so badly before the debate. When I came back, they, I had, they tested me before. I thought maybe I had COVID. Maybe there was something wrong. I had a, an infection or something. They tested me. They gave me those tests. I was clear. So, but look, I had a bad night. But the fact of the matter is, look at what I'm doing. I mean, let me put it this way. If there was something that was wrong that night, it's not like it comes and say, that's one night and goes away. That's why I've been out. I've been testing myself and testing everywhere I go, okay. going out and making the case. The night of that debate, I went out. I was out till two o'clock in the morning that very night. That very night. It drives me nuts, people talking about this. Joe Biden's seemingly evasive and defensive answers might give the impression that he is not being open about his health. The public has a legitimate right to know, especially when the health of a leader can impact their ability to govern effectively. The ongoing debates surrounding Joe Biden's cognitive and physical health have only intensified these concerns. When Joe Biden's responses are seen as confirming fears about his capacity to hold office, it casts a shadow on his suitability for leadership. His frustration, evident in his emotional outburst, it drives me nuts, could be perceived as unprofessional, failing to address the legitimate concerns about his ability to perform his duties. The public expects leaders to remain composed and address their concerns calmly, rather than reacting emotionally to tough questions.